fuck, man. What's going on, guys? Jeffrey Swift here, and uh, I fucked up. I fucked up big. I may have lied to some people. Some people are hating me now. And honestly, guys, it absolutely sucks. And as you guys see, the camera's on my hands. Um, my cameraman, Garrett, is here today filming me. The link to his Instagram, guys, be down below. It's actually right here on the screen, too. Midnight Fire 420. Uh, he posts a lot of cool shit, but um, I fucked up. We're right now in a park, walking trails. Probably, I come here almost every day now to uh, walk, and uh, especially after yesterday, Jesse posted a video, and uh, YouTuber24 Brian Spitz, you know, that guy, he probably spits and then he swallows that guy, Brian. Uh, that was pretty good, right, Garrett? You can laugh. Uh, Brian, man, you fucked up trying to mess with me, buddy. Call me fat and all that. You don't gotta tell me what I am, you know what? I may be proud to be fat, but I'm trying my best to lose some weight. So, uh, Garrett, man, if you want, you can do it vlog style. Point back at us and point the camera here or there at you. But, guys, man, this whole thing is fucked up. Most of you guys probably know that I did get hacked. And, uh, that fucking sucked. Big time. This hacker, man, Garrett, you were there with me on, uh, on a, uh, team chat. Um, I was. We were talking together and freaking, next thing you know, I was on my phone and I get signed out. I'm like, what the? And uh, my friend Alyssa calls me and she's like, dude, your Twitter was hacked. I said, you're kidding. She sends me a screenshot of a guy that said hacked by so-and-so. And it just absolutely freaking sucked. Now, this hacker, um, <laughs> this fucker, man. This hacker, man, has a lot of info on me between where I live my phone number, actually my old phone number now that I had to get changed, my full name, he tried getting my credit card information, he tried getting onto my PayPal, which I mean my PayPal really has no money, um, last I checked I had like two cents, and uh, who the fuck cares, right, two cents, what I'm going to do with that, actually I'm going to give all of you guys my two cents, uh, so this fucking hacker decided to try leaking some info about me, old emails, old YouTubes before I was Swift UAV, but you know what, fuck it. What he did is wrong. It's illegal. I got people looking into it. Um, but some of the shit he released was just fucked up. Personal messages. DMs, man. Freaking Scarce even covered this video. That's Somebody tweeted at me. You know you made it on YouTube when freaking Scarce talks about you. And uh, Scarce, man. I'm going to give you all the answers today you want along with everybody else. So this hacker released some DMs. These DMs have my phone number in it. I'm not going to tell you guys if these DMs are real or fake. I'm going to let you guys try figuring it out yourself. But, uh, yeah, it just absolutely sucks. Like I said, you guys can figure it out yourselves if it's real or fake. And, uh, you know, like when you hack somebody's Twitter or you're on your Twitter in general, you probably may have seen it, uh, Garrett, with your own personal Twitter. You have the thing where it puts your number on the inside, like in your settings, and it says mobile. And I, that's how I think the guy got my number. I think maybe... He faked these DMs, and this is how all this shit happened. But like I said, guys, it's up to you to decide if they're real or fake. Um, I feel like Jesse's going to kill me. And like I told you, Garrett, I, uh, I think Jesse's pretty pissed off at me. And it absolutely sucks. You know, like, I can't control his fans. I can't control hackers. I can't control nobody except myself and maybe my cameraman uh, here and there. Right, Garrett? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you still hungry for after this, man? I'll get you some food. For doing this today, yeah, by the way. I, I'm pretty hungry, dude. Where do you want to go? Applebee's? Applebee's? Why not? Um, yeah, I'm kind of sick of White Castle. The place kind of sucks every now and then. I'm sorry, that's why I can only really afford to take you to. Uh, but yeah, guys, it's been a uh, emotional roller coaster. So this hacker basically kind of fucked me over. Um, I believe 100% Jesse is pissed off at me. For you guys that don't know, Jesse is McJargon Nuggets for those that aren't that smart enough to kind of put two and two together. And uh, I don't think he's too happy with me, man. He called me and he was asking like, dude, how could you get yourself hacked? And it just, it's a very shitty situation to be in. Uh, just put yourself in my shoes or put yourself in somebody else's shoes where your personal information gets leaked. And uh, it sucks, you know? It got to the point where I was getting no caller ID phone calls of people saying they're gonna fucking swap me. You know how fucked up that is? I have a family at my house. I'm 20. I still live with my parents right now. I'm working my ass off every single day to save money to buy a house in the future. 
so I can fucking move out. But the problem right now that has my concern is not my safety, but my family's safety. My mom, my stepdad, who's just a freaking awesome dad, who stepped in from into my life after my dad died when I was eight. And you know the whole story, Garrett. It's completely fucked up. Like, that's just shit you can't do. Like... Especially to someone who's growing on YouTube, too. Like, this is just... If you want to, point the camera on yourself. Actually, here, give me the camera so you can talk. There you go. I'm not really a YouTuber myself. I'm just Swift's cameraman. We've been friends for such a long time, and the fact that people literally go out of their way, buy all this software, create all this software, like, you, you just can't do that. It's been happening to everybody who grows on YouTube. You know, I don't really, like I said, use YouTube, but I've been on YouTube for, a, like, a long time, so... Like, you'll see it on Keemstar, you'll see it on Scares, every other news channel out there, this guy, this guy got hacked. This guy got hacked. For what reason? You know? Like, what did I do to anybody? You didn't... Like, you I was just trying it. to help somebody out with a favor. And your drone gets crashed, and now people are, like, literally trying to threaten you and stuff, like... Well, it's fucked up, as, as you know, I got my family at my house. Like I was saying, my main concern, guys, isn't for my 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 safety, but here, get in the shot behind me. But it, it's not for my safety, but it's mainly for my mom's safety, my stepdad's safety, my sister's safety, actually, both my sister's safety. And believe it or not, guys, my mom will watch my niece and nephew. So, like, my worry is there's a freaking the SWAT team comes in, throws a freaking smoke grenade, it goes off right in front of my six month old nephew's face, and then what? Freaking either hurt him or kill him? Like, I don't want nothing bad to happen to my family. And this freaking guy goes out of his way to do shit. And it's just a fucked up scenario right now, man. I just, I have, I have no clue. Like, I have no freaking clue, guys, what to do anymore. Like, you can ask Garrett. I was up the other night. I, a, I was getting sick. I don't know if I ate something bad or something. But I, I was very sick. <laughs> I'm just going to put it like that. And, uh... It just sucked because I was up all night with that. I was dealing with the hacking situation, and I was just trying to keep every, everything under wraps. And of course, if we can gets out there, there is one person that I do want to thank right off the bat for not technically leaking my number when they showed these DMs in their video would be scarce. Because unlike some people, they freaking showed the whole DMs, uh, never blurred out my old number, and freaking scarce at least it was kind enough to blur out my old number. And guys, <laughs> it sucks when you have to go out. How's the lighting, by the way, Garrett? The lighting looks pretty good, I must say. Oh, that's perfect. But guys, it pretty much sucks when you have to go out of your way and change your freaking number and get a new SIM card and all this because it's fucked up when they try hacking your phone. I had my phone just randomly shut off on me on a few times because they were trying to get to my SIM card. And that's just another fucked up part. Like, you saw it. It happened to H3H3 not that long ago. Yeah, didn't Grade A Under A did a complete video about that where he explains why why these, like, phone companies are just completely stupid? Like, yeah. Like, literally anybody can just call as yeah. you, and you can just get access to their SIM card. Like, what, like, what is, kind of fucking shit is that? Which is fucked up. But I'm going to give some credit to my carrier, because uh, there's only two people working in the store. Believe it or not, when I walked in, they're like, hey, you're the guy that was in Jesse's video, right? I'm like, yeah, and the one guy's like, yeah, I've been subbed since the beginning of the Cycle Series. I was like, oh, dude, that's pretty insane, man. And he's like, yeah, I saw your drone get wrecked. He's like, how's the drone? I said, uh, I'm almost done fixing it, which I should have it fixed for tomorrow for when I'm in Philly. By the way, guys, if you are in Philadelphia, do me a favor, tweet at me, because uh, I may do a fan meetup sometime this weekend with my friend Alyssa, and uh, we're both going to be vlogging. She's a YouTuber. I'll put her link in the description of the videos we do. But uh, if you want to check out our channel, it's called Liz McKenzie. And uh, it's just going to be a great weekend. I mean, I'm excited to hopefully meet some fans in Philly. But, uh, dude, this... I, I'm just looking forward for this weekend, guys. After the stressful week I've had now with all this shit happening, it just it absolutely sucks, if you know what I mean. Um, like... Apparently the guy did it with a, uh, what was it Garrett that I was telling you about, an SK, or SQ what? It's an SQL injection. Here, give me the camera. There you go. Just like, how how the hell does this work? This I'm, uh, SQL. I'm not a hacker, but the premises of an SQL injection is that I believe that uh, the hacker sends over um, packets of some sort and it goes to your computer it grabs like all of your, I guess, internet data, even data from your computer, 
and it brings it back to them to the hacker and um, basically what they can do is they can put together like um I guess what you can say like a cyber puzzle and it like it gets them access to your um, like your stuff like your Twitter your Instagram your YouTube whatever they want and I don't know how they do it it's I don't know if they buy the software from somebody they um, they create the software that I guess I'll never know yeah I mean this whole entire situation guys absolutely sucks if you have ever been hacked it's just a scary situation, especially when they're saying you're like, hey, this is where you live, this is your phone number, this is who's in your family, this is who you live with, this is the kind of vehicle you drive in. It's like, dude, what the fuck? Like, nobody's supposed to know that shit. It's just, it's just absolutely, completely screwed up, man. And I just, I just don't know what to do anymore, guys, besides coming clean with this whole entire situation. So, Jesse, man, I know you're pissed off at me. I know the druggies are pissed off at me, but if you guys can do me a favor and accept an apology or accept an apology from me for this whole entire thing, that'd be basically appreciative. I mean, I tried doing my best for you guys. I wanted to keep something out there for the druggies, keep the druggies happy, try doing a favor for Jesse, and basically I get fucked over. That's all I can say, guys. So, man, but guys, like this whole entire situation has fucking sucked. Like I tried doing my best to help Jesse out. I tried doing stuff for the fans to keep the juggies happy, man. Like, I'm a juggie myself. I want to keep everybody happy. But no, people didn't like that. They had to give hate towards my last video. And I know I'm probably going to get hate now for a while. Uh, if there's one thing, though, I want to say, guys, it's just thank you all so much for the people that have supported me. 34,000 subscribers strong. Uh, the Swift Army is growing. We are a Swift nation. And um, just... From the bottom of my heart, for those that are supporting me, thank you so much. For those that are hating me, fuck you so much. And uh, until then, guys, remember to stay positive. It's been your boy Jeff or Swift UAV. Get Let me and, see that camera uh, real quick. It's been Midnight Fire 420. Link to my Instagram if you like following this random shit. I'm like a normal human being here. That's that's what you like to think, right? <laughs> if you just like to follow random shit, Call of Duty, my life, uh, Midnight Fire 420 down below in the description. Well, guys, like I said, remember to stay positive. Man, I, that, now I'm going to screw up my or outro because of this. But, uh, yeah, guys, remember to stay positive. Just, it's been your boy Jeff for Swift UAV. Keep it real. I'm logging out. Peace out. I'll see you guys tomorrow from Philadelphia. Peace.